In today's video, we compare the Iridian X Transformer DNG files to Adobe Lightroom's Enhanced Details DNG files. Let's get started. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you've been looking for a better way to process your Fujifilm RAW files, you've probably come across Iridian X Transformer as well as Adobe's Enhanced Details uh, conversion for the RAW files. In today's video, I want to show you which one is the better choice. I'm going to be comparing three different files. We'll see the Iridian file versus the Enhanced Details file just as a straight up comparison without any adjustments. The other two files will be adjusted to fit my taste for editing. I'll do a few basic adjustments to the brightness and the contrast, as well as the color, uh, just to get the pictures to match. As far as the sharpening goes, I've added uh, as much sharpening as I could without introducing any wormy artifacts. Now you've probably already read a little bit about wormy artifacts and the watercolor effect with the Fujifilm files. Uh, just to, a quick recap, wormy artifacts and watercolor effect are problems with the Fujifilm files in Adobe Lightroom. Adobe has been having problems processing the X Transformer files and you get sort of a wormy or a smeary effect uh, look in your photographs not revealing as much detail as what you might expect from uh, you know, a camera costing as much as you would pay for Fuji. So let's take a, a look at the first picture here. Uh, this is Monument Valley. This was taken with a Fujifilm X-T2 and we have it set at F11 ISO 200 at 1 350th of a second. This was taken with the XF 18 to 55 millimeter zoom lens. So let's toggle back and forth between the Iridian and the Enhanced DNG file. This is Iridian and now we'll toggle to the Enhanced DNG file. The first thing I notice is that the Enhanced DNG file is a little bit more saturated and does have a little bit more contrast straight from the conversion. Now let's zoom in here to the rock. We're at one to one. I'm looking at the center rock here. Let's do the side-by-side -side comparison. Iridian is on the right, Enhanced DNG on the left. And what I notice here, uh, there's a little bit more saturation on the Enhanced DNG file, also a little bit more contrast in this rock. But despite that, we can still see that there's actually a little bit more detail on the Iridian uh, file. Let's move a little bit to the left of the frame here and let's go into two to one now. There's another rock formation in the back here, and let's take a look at that. That rock is probably just a little too far to resolve, but we can see uh, that there is a little bit more detail on the Iridian side. Again, a little bit less contrast, but still a little bit more detail. Let's zoom back out. Now when we compare one-to-one -one here, um, just at a normal viewing distance, we can't really see too much of a difference, but when we pixel peep, that's when we start to see a little bit of the difference. So let's go into this rock here. And again, Iridian is on the right, Enhanced DNG is on the left. We can see for the foreground rock, uh, I am seeing, again, a little bit more detail on the Iridian side, despite having less saturation and less contrast. So for this picture, I'm gonna say as far as detail goes, uh, the Iridian file is giving a little bit more detail and resolving just a little bit more of the fine contrast, whereas the Enhanced DNG is just adding more contrast and more saturation, but it just looks a little bit more unnatural. So that's the straight up file unedited. Let's move on to the next file. So moving on to file number two, we have a scene here with some trees, also some rocks in the background, and it's gonna allow us to evaluate those details a little bit more. So here, all the way zoomed out, we can see that there isn't much difference there, but let's start zooming in here. Let's go to one to one, and let's examine these tree branches here. As far as the detail goes, they're very close, but I'm gonna give the edge to Iridian for these tree branches here. There's a little bit more detail and a little bit more micro contrast in these tree branches. A little bit more haziness is going on with the enhanced DNG file, but they do look very close. Let's zoom in just a little bit more to the rock formation back here. And 
Again, this is probably a little too far to resolve, but we're going to look anyway just to see if we can find a difference there. Uh, let's look at this highlight into this shadow transition here. Uh, I would say it is very close there. And these trees here, not too much difference there. The highlight area of the rock also looks very good. Maybe a little bit less of a watercolor effect on the Iridian. As far as noise goes, I think the enhanced DNG file maybe has a little bit less noise. Now let's take a look at these foreground branches here. Again, normally these aren't things you'll pay attention when you're taking normal photographs, but when we're trying to evaluate which one is better, um, it's good to take a look at some of these things. So if I take a look at this, I can see there's a little bit more haziness on the enhanced DNG side. The Iridian side is just a little bit more crisp and a little bit more clear. Again, we zoom back out overall at a very normal viewing distance on my screen here. It's really hard to tell the difference. Let's move on to the third and final set of photographs here. The Iridian will be on the right, enhanced details will be on the left. I chose this particular photograph because I wanted to demonstrate that if you find a subject that you like, it's lit properly and the composition is to your liking, that you're probably not going to notice too much between these two. So let's take a look at this third and final set of photographs. Let's start out at a normal viewing distance, just a fit to screen here. And I can look side by side. Both of the settings are set exactly the same here. And right now I'm not seeing too much of a difference. So that's normal viewing distance. We'll zoom in now. Now we're at one to one and let's take a look here. Let's look at some of these flowers blooming here. The colors look very close. And as far as the detail goes, it's really hard to distinguish anything between these two. Let's look a little closer here at the center. Uh, these two branches, again, Iridian is on the right, Enhanced DNG is on the left. And looking at this branch area here of this bush, I'm seeing that it's very close, but I am gonna give the slight edge to the Iridian file. Let's zoom in just a little bit more at two to one. And at two to one, Yes, I can see the Iridian file does look a little bit better there. But again, they're super close here and it's really, really hard to tell. Let's move to the fog area here and I wanna check the noise. Now I did apply sharpening to both of these, so I probably could have masked out the sharpening just to go to the details of the bushes and the trees, but I did not apply any mask. So just as a heads up on that, let's check out the noise that happens after we sharpen the entire picture without any masking to the file. Looking at this fog area here, they do have some noise um, in both files there, but I would say the noise is a little bit more pronounced in the enhanced DNG file. Uh, again, we can mask that out for both, but applying global sharpening does introduce a little bit more noise to the enhanced DNG file. Uh, let's go to this tree to the right over here. As far as the colors go, any smudginess, I would say that I'm going to give the edge to the Iridian file for that. And again, let's zoom back out. Again, no difference there when we just fit to screen. And at 200%, they look very close with the slide edge going to Iridian X Transformer. That's all for this quick comparison, guys. Just a few things to keep in mind. If you're basically just posting to the web or you're just posting to Instagram, a lot of these differences between the X Transformer and the enhanced details files are not really gonna mean too much to you. But if you are someone like me that does appreciate more detail when you're editing the files, Maybe in the future you plan to print the files or you're delivering some kind of product to a client or even just a family or a friend and you want to make sure that you give them the cleanest file that you can, you should be using either one of these two files to convert your Fujifilm RAW files. Now, which one should you choose? In my opinion, I think that these are very close, but I am going to give the slight edge to the Iridian DNG uh, X Transformer. Uh, mainly because when you add the sharpening, it doesn't introduce as much noise to the shadows. So if you want to do global sharpening without having to add a mask to the sharpening areas, it's going to give you just a little bit of a, a cleaner file. That's all I have for today's comparison, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell for more photo tips, tricks, and camera gear reviews. Until next time, take care and have a good day.